As we push through the Paladin combat skills, we of course need to look at the current popular kit in patch 2.4, Fist of the Heavens, and of course, the more important little brother, Holy Bolt, that sadly a lot of people ignore despite the fact that it is the true workhorse of builds based on this skill in 2.4. Now we're actually going to start with that little workhorse since it is the cornerstone of almost every aspect of the skill duo. This is because Holy Bolt, as an attack spell, has a few special properties outside of the obvious healing and damage that it does, especially now that 2.4 allows it to affect not only undead, but now demons as well, which means it is effective against about two-thirds of the enemies in the game and every single act boss. And with the fact that it pierces, even one holy bolt can be pretty effective at crowd control too, much like the necromancer skill Bone Spear. There is even a bit of a kicker to that, that it even does more damage per point invested than Spear, since with 40 points invested in Holy Bolt and Fist of the Heavens, and of course your standard plus skills, it can easily compete with a similarly kitted Necro Bone Spear kind of build with around 100 points invested in the skills and synergies. Now there is an argument that this comes with the drawback of only being able to damage demons and undead, and this is definitely a drawback that will limit your capabilities in areas like Cows, or even some of the key areas for progress through three of the five acts, though this comes with obvious skill point perks since you can easily spec into something to handle these, but it also comes with another perk that most people don't recognize, magic resistance piercing. Basically, Holy Bolts, both the manually cast ones as well as the ones from Fist of the Heavens, treat targets as if they have zero magic resistance. This makes the skill significantly stronger against bosses than you would first realize, since with the exception of Andariel and Bale, the other three bosses have fairly significant magic resistance, and so do a handful of enemies you might not otherwise expect. And it is worth noting, this piercing even pierces immunities as well, such as the ever-loved Greater Mummies found in Act 2 as well as in the Bale Waves. Now beyond this, we could talk about Holy Bolt and how it can heal your mercenary, which is nice for a caster since you can keep him topped off by lining yourself up just right with him and the enemy so you can hit both him and the enemy, and how you can invest in prayer to boost this healing, but generally those points will be better spent elsewhere, but it is still something you can look at if your secondary skill choice is something equally low in point requirements like a Zealot or a Smiter, and it is worth noting that the healing aspect of Holy Bolt only comes with the manually cast ones, not the fist the Heavens ones, which only shoots damaging bolts. Now, you would think Fist of the Heavens itself would get equally pumped up by these effects, and if you're thinking of the Holy Bolts it shoots out at enemies on the screen, you would be correct. Though, while Fist of the Heavens does shoot out a bolt, even for the enemy being targeted, the target has to move towards you to be hit by it, otherwise they're just getting pinged with the lightning, which is a bit less impressive. Now this is because the lightning in Fist of the Heavens is a trap a lot of people fall for by dumping heavily into Conviction and Holy Shock to kind of support it, which can work for PvP, but is painfully slow as a tool for player versus monster, since the main work Fist of the Heavens will do is in the form of crowd control and launching a large number of lower damage bolts for each cast. The lightning itself only really being effective for beasts or players, otherwise actually casting Holy Bolt will generally be faster for any demon or undead, even boss outside of very specific gear loadouts unless you have a very large clump of enemies. Now that said, there are niche situations where you might want to do this, the overinvestment into Fist of the Heavens, such as team play with a sorceress, since between you and the sorceress you will generally destroy any threat possible, especially with your conviction oriented build based on lightning, or with a melee tank character to help you out to drop enemy defense to pitiful levels, pretty much guaranteeing they can hit and, well, a leech if it's something that's not undead. Though in both of these cases, you can usually pick out better skill combinations for them since you're basically relegating your to support for them, with your own ability to clear places like Chaos and Worldstone being okay, but against monsters you're just kind of like a cheerleader. But overall, like I said at the beginning, the important skill for the build will be your Holy Bolt skill due to how cheap it is, how it can be improved with faster cast, unlike Fist of the Heavens which can't because it has cooldowns, and the fact that it can get up to a significantly higher per shot damage than Fist of the Heavens even, all while leaving you plenty of points to dive into a second build to handle beasts on the same character. So do you enjoy the new Fist of the Heavens? or should I say Holy Bolt build? Do you prefer to stick with the classic Blessed Hammer that has to contend with magic resistances and immunities? Or are you more of a melee paladin player? Mention it down below, and special thanks to all the patrons, channel members, and supporters that make these videos possible, and if you want to know about the rest of the paladin skills, check out the playlist on screen now as we continue to work our way through the depths of the skill trees and weird mechanics.